What turns you on? Intelligence attracts me in a big way. Huge. I need somebody with some experience. I need somebody who doesn't cheat. I just don't want to pay too much. It sounds like Winnipeg is looking for Soul Financial. Yeah. Now, if the Winnipeg police found a thousand hamsters glued to someone's furnace, that would probably make the news. It's time for the news. <laughs> With local news, Winnipeg Zoo has just acquired six new penguins. Two have already had their cars stolen. A CBC News poll has reported 80% of those polled feel that Mayor Sam Cates was involved in conflicts of interest during his time as Mayor of Winnipeg. The remaining 20% said they did not feel the allegations were true and added that they think the immigrant kid he kicked in the face playing soccer was just clever photoshopping by the liberal media. A hockey association out of PEI has sent out a sternly worded memo warning players and coaches to refrain from aggressive and violent handshakes after games. This is the largest handshake scandal in PEI history since the down low too slow riots of 1994. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja kicking Sears. All right. A three-story icicle in Saskatoon has been ordered to be removed from the complex it adorns, receiving mixed reactions as it both wowed and terrified the general public. The icicle became Saska famous in its short lifetime, even being represented on Twitter by a fan with the handle at Giant Icicle. Why would we say there's nothing to do in Saskatchewan when they do it so well themselves? <laughs> Body Breaks Fitness Tool. Take that one, the OCB. <laughs> it's an insider. Body Breaks Fitness Duo, Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod may be one of the couples competing in the upcoming season of The Amazing Race Canada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's odd, that's never happened before. Uh, if they win, the couple says they plan on celebrating by eating at least three servings of fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Taking a look at the Americans. A U.S. court judge recently slashed half the settlement Samsung was to pay Apple for alleged patent violations. Originally, Samsung was to pay almost a billion dollars and provide up to 50,000 sarcastic hipsters to work in Apple stores. Apple announced a setback the way they always do in the terms and conditions of the iTunes store. That was good. Somewhere. Montana recently passed a law making it legal to eat roadkill. This of course means that at some point people from Montana had to be told not to eat roadkill and then it had to be enforced by law. In a related story, just or Arby's just announced plans to open up 79 more stores in Montana. <laughs> Miss Teen Delaware was stripped of her crown this week after an alleged online porn tape surfaced. Pageant organizers were outraged and declared, We'll decide how to market your sexuality! <laughs> a Texas school employee shot himself during a school-sponsored gun safety course this week. He failed. <laughs> horse meat has been discovered in ground beef at a UK Taco Bell. In other news, horse meat has also been discovered in the lettuce, sour cream, and in the fountain drinks at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Who made that? That's awesome. Or is that a stock photo? I don't know. That's, that's a good question. That also does not look like a horse. I don't know what animal that is. Scientists have discovered that wild bees are more effective than domestic bees at prompting flowers to produce fruit. Wild bees are known to be difficult to rein in and play by their own rules, but damn it, they get the job done and look good doing it. It's a cool bee. 
Websites like Google and Wikipedia have replaced the wisdom of grandparents, according to a recent study. <laughs> Sorry, Granny, but the internet has everything. History, made up history, and more racism than happy hour at a small town legion. <laughs> And with entertainment news, an NBC affiliate in Cleveland aired an old episode of Matlock instead of its regular Thursday night programming last week, reportedly earning higher ratings than new regular programming had been getting in that time slot. When asked why the bold decision was made, executives at NBC said, we're just giving the public what it wants. After all, sex sells. <laughs> Look at the shine on those humans. And that's the news, everybody. Yeah, we'll be right back with David Annandale.